Leo, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you. We're going to do my version of a Celtic cross. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your fifth house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support in whatever format it comes, liking, sharing, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. It's the easiest and fastest way to grow the channel. It's very much appreciated. Thank you to Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, extended buy me a coffees, donations. It uh, allows me to continue doing this for you guys. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome. The message may well be for you. All the information's in the description box. Just hit the more button below. Okay, Leo, what's going on? Let's do one more. We have the Nine of Wands, the card of Perseverance. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I feel like somebody's getting hit with a spark of life. I'm looking at the Ace of Wands that's been carried here. And in the deck that I'm using for the extended, it's called the Spark of Life is the Ace of Wands. Um, interestingly, in a different deck, a deck I don't have, I've just seen online. Um, from the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands is thrown and then it hits somebody. It's like a realisation or a spark or something. Let's see. Crossing you. Seems to be a theme today, root of the matter. Recent past. What you want. What's coming in. How you see yourself. How others see you. Advice and potential outcome. Nice. Okay. Nice. Um, life moves forward very, very, very quickly in a couple of days' time when Venus goes direct in your sign. It's currently, ret currently retrograde. Probably had you feeling a little bit here, there and everywhere. Um, but as soon as it goes direct, the blessings start to come. Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands, the Chariot and the King of Wands. Nice. There's a lot of people around you as well. So the biggest issue that I'm seeing here, Leo, is the need to... have faith in something or it's seen to, to see the bigger picture of something there's something that's not quite right so we have the nine of wands crossing you as a seven of pentacles same as cancer's reading earlier uh, in cancer's reading it's, it massively stood out as time uh, however for this one i just feel like it's a uh, lack of patience um the seven of pentacles it's also in the top deck, the Lord of Failure. I feel like there is an energy that happened. Um, any This can be any sort of relationship. I feel like there was a relationship where you thought you were on the same level. Uh, this could be friendship. This could be work colleague, whatever it is. You thought you were on the same level. However, reality is showing you a different side of things here. And it's causing you a lot of pain and frustration. And the universe is asking you to let that out because there's there's an energy here. Like, it's like you're waiting for somebody to get their comeuppance. It, it doesn't have to be a, a major negative thing, but there's, there's something about waiting for the, the light to shine on the devil. Okay? Um, it's it's kind of like one of those things where, you know, if a if a if a secret uh, comes out, it's no longer a secret. But just like the um, 
uh, the more light that shines on a shadow, the less scary it is because it's, it's no longer a shadow. So uh, this could be shadow work. This could be, it feels like you're waiting for somebody to get their due course, you know. Root of the matter is the Ace of Pentacles. Sometimes, sometimes people don't hear what you have to say. They're not willing to hear what you have to say. They're not in a position to comprehend what you have to say. But never underestimate the power of planting a seed. Something has happened here. You've planted a seed. The root of the matter is the seeds planted. But the issue is you can't see what's going off underneath. You think one seed was planted. It's actually spurned into seven. So this could be an opportunity that you think is going nowhere. It's actually expanding more than you realise. But there's a nine of wands energy here of of feeling like, ugh, you know, when's it over? When's this done? When's this battle over? But the Nine of Wands is asking you to keep going, persevere. In the recent past is the King of Cups. You could have been dealing with a, a King of Cups energy. Again, don't get caught up in genders. Um, but this could have been somebody that's, um, I'm going to say passive to the point of maybe, not necessarily lazy, but... You couldn't draw out what you wanted to draw out of whatever this energy is. What you want is the Four of Pentacles. You want to hold on tight to what is yours, but ultimately I'm seeing the sun in uh, Capricorn. You want the, the sun to highlight the devil. It's the sun in Capricorn is the sun meet, meets uh, the devil card. So you want something highlighting a shadow here. And I feel like it's about a particular person because what's coming in is the Queen of Cups. Now, I feel like you and another person is represented by the King and the Queen of Cups here. There's, what I'm going to say is a seed has been planted. The process is underway. Um, you know, the crossing position is the Seven of Pentacles, the actual growth. But what you're wanting at the moment is the Four of Pentacles. That's three steps away, you know, prior. So you can't rush a process here. You can't jump to the last chap chapter of a book and understand what the outcome is. You need to, you know, it's part of the journey to get there. I don't know what this is. I don't know whether this is just a, a breakup in the past and you're wanting somebody to get their um, um, comeuppance or whatever, or whether it's just you truly believe that there's a connection here and um, you're not seeing results and there's a need to let go of that, let go of the, the version of events that you kind of see playing out here. How you see yourself is the three of swords. You're trying to open your heart. You're trying to scream out what it is that um, you want to say. This could be a situation here where you you, you can't get a chance to say what you want, what you feel. Because we do have, not only have we got the queen of cups here, we've got the king of cups. We do have another king. So there could be a third energy involved. Third energy doesn't have to be a, a romantic rival or anything like that. It could well be, but it feels like there's... Um, it's like you really want to say something, but there's another energy in the way. How others see you is the Page of Cups. I, I believe whoever this is, is on the same wavelength as you. Um, whatever the situation is, the seed is planted. I just feel like somebody needs a little bit of catching up to do. You know, this could be you. They could be seeing you as needing to do some sort of catching up. Maybe that's in healing. Maybe that's in opening the heart. Uh, this could be believing, you know, when pigs fly. But interestingly, we've got the Knight of Cups bottom of the deck. We've got all of the court cards for the cups, the emotions. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. We've got them all here. Your advice is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles as advice, I would say, is, is there's a... I, I kind of feel like this is a message of trust because if we look at the the King of Pentacles here, he's holding a very, very, very large piece of gold here. Something that was planted, something that's growing that you don't see growing. I do not know what this is about, Leo. I think you've there's an energy of frustration that surrounds you here because you're not seeing the results that you've put in. Put that to anything. Um, you're going to see the results. You need to trust that what is planted is planted. You need to let go of the, if this is holding on to resentment of somebody of the past, you need to let go of that. 
um, because life is going to move forward pretty quickly. And I feel like you're going to be leaving, a, leaving behind a lot of this that you're currently holding on to. Now, that doesn't have to be that you're letting go of people, places, situation. I just think whatever it is that's bothering you now is going to be so such a non-existent thing in your life in the future. You won't believe it. It kind of reminds me of... Um... So I suffered from body dysmorphia for years, years. And um, I always remember going to a, 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 psych, a psychic uh, back uh, where I used to live. And um, I asked him, I said, uh, will I be plagued with this for you know years to come? And he actually said to me, he's like, give it a couple of years, you won't even think about it. It won't even be an issue. And I just did not believe him at the time. And it's not, I'm completely, um, it's, it's not an issue in my life anymore. And I'm kind of seeing something like this. It's like something that is, it doesn't have to be body dysmorphia, but something that is bothering you right now, something that you're holding on to. It could be um, a way of thinking, doing something that's really bugging you right now is not going to be bugging you in the future. Your outcome is the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords I'm seeing here is just speed. It's the fastest knight in the deck. And then we have Venus with the Empress. You bring in, Venus is bringing abundance. And I kind of feel like Venus, when it's in your side, brings the blessings to you. But because of this retrograde period, I feel like something has just felt slow or had to reassess something here. So we've got Knight of Swords speeding up when Venus moves forward. And then we have the Two of Cups. This is a beautiful blend of energies this is you know if there's arguments this is making up if this is um wanting love to come to fruition it's coming to fruition if this is business partnerships are coming to fruition it's coming to fruition whatever seeds that have been planted um is really taking forth and it's going to speed up very very soon so please let go of the energy of whatever this is <laughs> Um, and allow the situation to unfold. I'm going to check out the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and I want to see where the sun and the devil is. Interesting, we have the um, the moon, the death, and the nine of swords. Um, that screams to me, um, Dark Knight of the Soul. So you could have gone through a Dark Knight of the Soul, or you might be dealing with somebody who's gone through a Dark Knight of the Soul. So there could be a lot of compassion that's needed at the moment for yourself and others. Very much a focus on a brand new beginning that comes. Um, so we've got Justice, the Emperor and the Fool. Justice is the South Node, Libra. North Node is in Aries and a brand new beginning happens. Yes, we're in there now, but we're not done quite yet with the um, the old North Node and the South Node because we still have a, an eclipse to go through first. Um, the full moon in Taurus at the end of October. So the sun is with the tower and the high priestess. You want somebody to get, you want something, somebody's secrets to come to the surface. You want somebody's, um, yeah, like I say, when a, like I said earlier, when a secret is uh, is out, it's no longer a secret. When you shine a light on the shadow, it's no longer a shadow. It's not as scary. So just go with the flow here. The devil is with the king of swords and the two of swords. You could have been dealing with a, a, a bit of a narcissist, possibly. Uh, you might be wanting them to get their uh, repercussions for whatever's gone on. And the Eight of Wands is with the Lovers and the Four of Swords. So it feels like somebody's been hit out of nowhere here. I think there's a strong connection that surrounds you. Four of Swords is the Wheel of Fortune in, in Justice with the um, Jupiter in Libra. Feels very much fated events, karmic soul contracts, whatever you want to call them, um, is all coming see where that ace of wands is what was thrown have i gone so, didn't realize I'm, oh here we go it's with the ten of pentacles and the five of swords okay yeah somebody's getting a headache about it because they are can't get you out of their heads interesting okay leo to summarize um 
don't underestimate the power of planting a seed. Your fruition, it, your abundance is coming. Things are going to work out better than you can imagine. Okay. So that pentacle um, is looking pretty sizable in that king of pentacles hands. Okay. In your extended, we will look at what Venus is bringing you when it goes direct. We'll take its energy, uh, her energy, so to say. What we know, what we don't know, recent past advice and potential outcome. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if this resonates. We have Moon in Sagittarius. See the bigger picture. Saturn in Taurus. Sun in Capricorn. Saturn in Libra. Taurus, Libra. Venus in Cancer. Cancer. Jupiter in Capricorn. Sun in Aries. Mercury in Cancer, Sun in Virgo, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Mars in Gemini, Jupiter in Pisces, Sagittarius, Venus in Aries, and Taurus. Cups, swords, pentacles, wands, everyone's here. Those are the standouts. Take care. See you soon.